Right. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing week. And I hope you're being safe and careful and cautious and you've uh, been social distancing. Well, here we are. We are back with Out of Kit uh, on a Friday. Lovely Friday. Very sunny out there. Very lovely. Now, today we're going to have a look at... Um, we're going to have a look at an effect called um, distressing, character distressing or dirtying down. Now, um, dirtying down is essentially what it is. It's making someone dirty, but in a structured way. Um, if you've seen Game of Thrones, Les Miserables, um, any kind of peasanty period drama, um, beggars, any people sort of that are, you know, fallen on hard times and they're dirty, they're messy, they're, they're, they kind of look drunk, they're, they're, everything you can associate with dirt and beg, you know, war zones, etc. There's lots of different types. Um, um, today we're going to create a bit of her kind of broken down hobo beggar type look. Uh, very useful when you're doing crowd scenes. Um, the one thing I'll say about dirtying someone down is that if you are going to do this and you're going to have continuity, you've got to be really careful about continuity because ideally you want to place the dirt in exactly the same place for every... Um, oh, is the lovely Chloe Phillips. Hello, Chloe. Um, you want to place the dirt in the same place for every... Uh, in the same scene. However, that scene might be, might be filmed over the course of a week um, for to get different oh hello lovely Sita so, lovely Sita has just joined um, so if you're doing continuity it's very important to think about how you place this dirt because if I've got a little spot of dirt just here and it uh, uh, and it so happens then you then put the spot there when it comes to the different frames of the filming it's not going to work so um so Sita today we were looking at dirtying down and the the sort of pitfalls of dirtying someone down so um, I recently worked in a film um, in which we had to place various bits of mud on the character for about a week in the same place. Now, it was very interesting seeing the continuity photographs and sometimes you could see that if you were not on it, you'd easily make that mistake. So today we're going to play with um, a mixture of products, um, all from Treasure House of Makeup. Um, my gorgeous trusted treasure house and by the way i'm ian i'm from i'm the head of special effects makeup at seventa makeup academy the gorgeous craig chapman has just joined um one of the Krylan makeup artists he's fabulous very talented hello craig um we're looking at dirtying down i'm going to transform myself into a hobo beggar stinky horrible i'm even going to do a bit of hair laying now, Craig, you've done this course with me before, so you know what's involved. But have, stay with us and just enjoy the lovely chat we're going to have. Uh, so, I've made... So, we're working with my lovely Treasure House kit. Um, this is my Studio Colour FX palette. Very lovely. It's Grease Paint, yes, by Ben Nye. Uh, then I've got my gorgeous... Um, Meron Pro Color Ring effects. Yes. Then we've also going to be playing with some Meron Liquid Makeup in lovely shitty brown, I call it. This is shitty brown, everyone. Hello, Saventa Makeup Academy. We're just talking about my Meron shitty brown color. And it's not that the product is shit, it's that this is the best reference to the color. Um, then I've got my lovely Ben Nye Plains Dust Character Powder. I love these dusts. Ben Nye make amazing character dusts. Uh, we also have them in Meron. So uh, whichever, Meron or Ben Nye, love them both. Then we're also going to play with a little bit of Meron latex, ladies and gentlemen. A bit, a bit of latex for the day. Very exciting. Um, now, I made this before. So there we go. It's a mixture of various ashes and dusts by Meron and Ben Nye in a gel. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look. 
We love a uh, we love a shitty brown. Now I will say this again for the video. Meron are fabulous. It is not the product that's shit. It's just the color. Is the best color I can think. My cats do a lot of this color. That's all I'm saying. Right. So I made this. Look at this. How gorgeous this is. Look. Look at it. Oh, there we go. So this is a mixture of gel. And I've got some black ash, some um, plains dust. Um, so there you go. That's for later. That's for later. Then we're going to... Oh, there we go. We're gonna, you're going to love these, guys. You are going to absolutely love these. Meron tooth effects. Tooth effects can go directly on the enamel of the teeth. And it's fabulous. So this is black. And this is nicotine. Oh, we love a bit of nicotine. You've got to see the nicotine. It's fabulous. Um, I don't know if you can see the nicotine, but look at the colour of the nicotine. That's going to go on my teeth later on, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Mop has just joined. The gorgeous Miss Mop. Hello, darling. Then we're going to play around with our Ben Nye effects alcohol palettes. Now, I've got my Bruce palette over there. And I've got my primary colours. Then... We're going to do a bit of hair laying. I'm going to give myself a lovely goatee. So I've got my crepe hair. There we go, you see? In brown. Also in black. So, let us begin. Let us begin the transformation into hobo, beggar, dirty, dirty hair, dirty face. Imagine I've been living on the streets. I like a drink. Very important, if you're creating a character, if you're distressing a character, Know where you're going from too. So my backstory is I like a drink, obviously. Um, I I probably drink too much, to be fair. Um, I've been living on the streets for quite a few months. I probably soil myself. So there you go. It's a lovely picture. It's a lovely picture. So we're going to start with... Um, what are we going to start with? We are going to start with a bit of primary red. I'm going to make this area... Over here, reddened. Now, when you drink uh, your capillaries, if you are de severely dehydrated but full of alcohol, you tend to have blood capillary burstage across here, okay? This area here. So, here we are. Here we go. Here we go. I am wearing a hat because later I'm going to be messing my hair up, people. But it's quite bright, okay? It's the Ben Nye Red, it's quite bright. Mm. Now stipple it around. Don't be scared. Oh, that's a lot. We will turn this down, so don't you worry about that. For now, we're just trying to create the colour. I hope you're all having a lovely day, by the way. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Um, I've had a really good day. Yesterday, I did all my gardening. Um, the first... I gave the lawn the first haircut, haircut of the summer. So it's now in repair mode because she needs a bit of a repair. Um, and I, we jet washed the patio, put down the garden furniture. So yes, it's all looking fabulous, really. Um, so we have started to distress ourselves. We're going to use a mixture of alcohol paints and also... Um, Grease paints today, okay? And notice, again, I am using my trusted Delium brushes. This is 193 from Delium by Thomas Supernan. This lovely Thomas's signature, you can just see it there. Now we take it up to the temples a little bit as well, because you know, why not? Not much though, not much. Okay, well that's enough of that. Now we're going to take, uh, what are we going to take? We are going to take, we will probably work with Fresh Cut, which is this one over here. By Ben Nye this time, again. Now, you can do this, people, using a stipple sponge. Unfortunately, I couldn't find mine this morning. They must all be at the studio, Jeff. We've probably got them in. I know we've got them at the Academy. 
So I'm improvising, people. I'm improvising. But this is a lot what you've got to do as a makeup artist. You have got to improvise sometimes because this happens, okay? This does happen. You'll end up... You'll end up doing a look and you don't... You know, you've lost a tool. Someone's nicked something out of your kit. You left it at home. So you've just got to... You've just got to sometimes improvise and kind of do the best you can, really. Um, and you're not always going to have the right tool for the job. Also, sometimes... I'm just going to take some of that away. I know everything's locked to the academy. I know, Jeff. But we're making... We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. There we go. Take some away. I don't want that much. Okay. Oh, there we go. She, she likes to drink. She likes to drink. Yes, yeah, she likes... Oh, she does like a drink. There we go. Right. Let's talk about dirt, shall we? Let's talk about dirt and how we apply dirt. Now, the big thing you want to do is um, you don't want to apply dirt like you are painting uh, eyeshadow or you're doing blusher. It's got to be quite strategic, okay? Because if it's not strategic, it's just going to be... It's just going to look wrong. So... You've got to you've got to apply it in a haphazard way that looks like you it's completely haphazard but it isn't if you know what I mean. So the best thing is we are going to stipple some first. This time I'm using a big brush, big brush. Um, this is the one nine five by Delium. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my some of my Plains dust. Now these are very handy because as you can see you can really okay. It's got it's called a shaker for any of you that don't know. It's called a shaker. Now I've got a bit of alcohol in my in my pot, yes. A bit of alcohol. Oh there you go, lovely. Now it's too much. So take some away. And then you kind of, you apply some and you just move it about the base. Now I want to keep this area cleared for now because I'm going to put in some hair in there, okay? You know, I may as well take this off because I'm going to be messing my hair up in a minute. And as you can see, I'm going to mix some of my other dirt, by the way. Why not? It's about moving it and just getting it. It shouldn't look too even. Now look at that. Look at that. Now you know why I call it shitty brown. There you are. You see? But it's not. It's a fabulous product. Show you. Really nice. Really lovely. Really lovely. Really lovely to work with. Now it's all about, you keep spreading it. What I don't want to see is brush marks, okay? I do not want to see a brush mark anywhere. If you've seen a brush mark, then you've gone wrong. Because you wouldn't apply dirt with a brush, you see. You just wouldn't. Can you buy the brushes for UK? Yes, you can buy the brushes for UK, my darling. Um, 
We have them at we have them at Treasure House. You can order them from the Treasure House website. And pro makeup artists, you get your pro discount with Treasure House. See what I mean? The debt is being placed. Now you can see where I put the red, how the red really works, yeah? See what I mean? It did look a bit intense, but actually when you start blending it out, it's good. Now Craig, make sure you get your pro discount with Treasure House, my love. Any, if you need to know how to do it, just let me know. I only, only work with, the only brushes that I don't use for, I only work with Delium these days, except for body painting, ladies and gentlemen, which I actually use um, Cryolan brushes. Um, Craig converted me into the body painting. Craig, by the way, is an amazing, amazing body artist. And he converted me to Cryolan brushes for body art. Not that I do a lot of it, but. Oh, she's looking lovely. Isn't she looking gorgeous? What do we think? Is she looking fabulous? I think I am. But there we are. Thank you, Saventa. Yeah, there's the website. Now, I am using alcohol to dilute these muds, so don't be scared, okay? I've never looked better, I know, darling. I have never looked better, babe. Get into the nose, people, yeah? Dirt gets everywhere. Trust me, the crowd team on Game of Thrones for the big crowd scenes. Oh, gosh, hello, guys. Gorgeous. If you guys want to study a prosthetics course, one of the best. They've just joined us in the chat. James, the leader of the course, is incredible. So if you guys want to study, give them a follow. BA underscore Hans underscore prosthetics. Give them a follow if you want to study prosthetics to an advanced level. James the leader is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. So James, if you're still online, we're just doing a quick dirtying down, character breakdown, distressing. Notice I'm using the same rag, okay? Don't go wasting. She's never looked better, never looked better. I still think I want to be more red. Oh dear Lord. The things we do for our art, the things we do. So to recap, let's just recap before I carry on. Red across this area. I use two different types of red, okay? I use my primary red, Ben Nye, and then I use and then I used my, what did I use? My fresh cut. That one. Stippled it onto this area around here. Next, I've got my Plains Dust Powder from Ben Nye and my Meron Brown Makeup. Let's call it brown this time. Although we know what color that is. Diluted with a bit of alcohol to make a paste. Then you put it on the face. Then you start stippling down. Gorgeous treasure house. Hello, treasure house. Um, so you start stippling. As you can see, she's looking amazing. I also made this gorgeous, beautiful paste here. Look at that, look at that. Treasure house, I just, there you go. That's beautiful, look at that. That's gel, Meron ash powder, Ben Nye Plains dust, and gel. I think I'm ready to go out for dinner, personally. Now we're trying to create, okay. Well, that's enough for now. So that's where we are on that. Okay, next thing. I need a little bit of a 
stubble because as you can see I don't have one it's a bit sad so we are going to use a bit of crepe hair in brown this again from treasure house here we are um and we need a little bit of prostate excuse me so Little bit of prostate. For those of you that don't know, prostate is an adhesive. Yeah, prostate goes clear when it's ready to be stuck on, okay? So I'm going to apply the prostate to my face. Let's start there, shall we? I get my little tuft of hair, I give it a snip, it's a bit messy this by the way, so there we go. This is called hair laying, it's quite hard, I've never, you know, I've actually never done it on myself, so it's going to be interesting, I always do it someone else. So you press it down, Not bad. Bit a bit wonky, so we need a bit more prosed. So I'm let. So what I do is you press down the hair, and ideally with a tail comb. But if you don't have one, one of these, all my tail combs are in the academy. You press down. You press down with your comb and you pull. Okay. So you just pull this, and you want to build it. Don't just take your time. Take your time. You need to learn to enjoy making someone up, okay? This should be fun. So, bit of prosade. Now this technique is very useful. Set. Okay, top with the comb. I always use the end of a brush, but can be, yes, no, comb. This bit, or a tail comb, always better. And I know you meant it, don't worry. I'm going for this kind of bottom stubble thing going on. You don't want it too kept either, because remember, I am going for the hobo. There she is with her diamonds, look at doing a hobo, yes. Very modern I am, very modern. Right. A few more I think. Because I'm then gonna grade this out by the way. Oh yes, so yes guys, um, ladies, gentlemen, everyone. Um, so at Seven to Makeup Academy, we do these. I run these courses using the Meron Ben Nye Treasure House kits, but we always run them with life models. Now the advantage with this is by having a life model, you get to work in a real life situation, because it's very this it's very distressing if you are working on yourself and suddenly you're thrown in to work in front of someone. It's very different, very different. So I find doing an SFX with a life model, you really get the whole idea of how to get into that model and you have a lot more flexibility when it comes to the hands. Right, so. Right. Okay, so let's give that a quick trim. Again, my hairdressing scissors are at The academy, but never mind. 
Isaac, thank you very much. That's very kind. So, next product we're going to work with, ladies and gentlemen, is somewhere on my table and I can't find it. That's This is what happens when you're trying to be really organised and then it all goes a bit wrong. Ah, there we go. So, we are working with Ben Nye Silver Grey. Ben Nye Silver Grey. Now, you need to really mix this, okay? It's got a little ball inside that gives it a mix. Hello, Juan. Now, there we go. It's now gone the colour I want, okay? She's never looked better, I'm telling you. She's never looked better. So, the first part of the tutorial is I am dirty and down. Now, if you look at my photos, you can see that I do not look like this. We're doing a kind of distressing a person. Standard Game of Thrones, dirty and down, making me look like a beggar. I'm now going to do a bit of... I've put... Um, I've make, given myself the kind of reddened cheeks from too much booze. I've kind of put my dirt, as you can see. I've laid down a little bit of a stubble and I'm now going to carry on. So, you do have a little applicator with this. comes with a handy little applicator. Um, for this... Oh yes, of course. So, for those of you that don't know me um, particularly well, uh, you soon will, um, my background is um, opera. I was and I am um, an opera singer. Uh, trained at the Royal College of Music. I've worked in many houses to include the opera, um, the English National Opera. Um, and I've, I've, I, I decided to not sing full time and to stop singing full time, I should say, and do other things. And I had voice problems. And because of voice problems, my makeup side developed. And then they both kind of marry into each other. So I bring the element of being on stage and understanding what the performer needs. I've also sung in film, so I can, I've can. i been in film as well, so I understand both sides of the camera, which really helps, I find. Which really, really helps. Right. So, we are now going to get ourselves a little... Um, a little... I, do you know what I use? This is really naughty, but I use these little pots. You can get in McDonald's, very useful. Um, and if I need something very quick, it's a gorgeous Angie. Hello, darling. Let's make me grey. Let's give me some grey. Oops, it's too far, too far. You see, this is what happens. You're rushing. I really like the Ben Nye um, Grey, which is what I'm using. It gives an, uh, now normally you can do this with palettes, but in this case, we're not doing it with palette. I'm all over today, look at me. Can't even aim to my face. It's quite hard to do it on your own hair, actually. Now, I'm going to grey this beard out. I'm not liking it. It's too bright. It's too bright. Now, that looks a lot of grey, but then I'm going to take it out with alcohol, okay? So don't you worry about that. Where is my little, there we are.
So let's carry on, shall we? So the trick is to just not be too even about your application. Someone just sent me a lovely qu question. Oh, sorry, I just put it to my wall, excuse me. Let's go back, there we go. So you can create a transfer question. Um, you can use different ones. Um, because I'm, I need to stick, I want to stick to under an hour for this, because uh, I've got other effects. Um, I'm only using one, however, brown works that I quite like to grey it out, but you can then use grey if you don't want, if you don't have brown. So you can mix. Let's put a bit more, I think a bit more hair would be quite nice, a bit more hair. Becky, hello Becky, I don't think we've met, but hello. Lovely, welcome. Bit of dirtying down, bit of dirtying down. Bit of character distressing. As I tell you, the people on the Game of Thrones crowd teams did a lot of these dirty downs on the crowd. I quite enjoy it, they're a lot of fun to do. Now, when you do this, make sure your ends are neat, okay? Because otherwise, it just won't work as well. So just You just cut your end. As I said, tail combs are better, but as I don't have my tail comb with me, just this one will do. The black is a mixture of gel, meron ash, and plains dust by Ben Nye. I'm not going to go all the way to the neck, people. So, but imagine this would go. Well, there we go. I've taken a bit down. Imagine this would go all the way down. Okay. Use your imaginations for this. But essentially, you take it all the way down into the t-shirt. You know, stop moving it. Right. So, we'll add more grey in a minute. What we're going to do next? We're going to add. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to add some lovely um, pustules and kind of spots and a bit horrible skin imperfections. So for this, I am using my gorgeous. You see, you still go back using my gorgeous Meron latex and my lovely tool, the lovely Vanessa. Look, darling, I have never looked so good. Look at this. Okie dokie. So we're going to use a little tool with a little scoop. This one will do. You don't need a lot, by the way, on this. You do not need a lot. So don't overdo it. Thanks, darling, but I'm not really feeling it at the moment. I've had a rough day. It's been a rough day. And this, you're going to have to wait a minute. Excuse me. Can you hear?
and do dry lips. What's my what? My favourite product must have if I... Oh Lord, if I could only... Ah, I tell you what it is. Tell you what it is. It's got to be Meron Mixing Liquid. It's incredible. You can use it for body painted. You can use it for diluting makeup. You can use it to, air, to dilute paints into an airbrush. You can get your body paints, dilute them down, airbrush them through. You can use them everything. It's incredible. Look at this. Lovely dry lips. Isn't it lovely? I think I'm looking great, people. Now what I'm doing is I'm applying a little bit of latex. Don't have to be very specific about it. Look at that, look at that gorgeous, look at that lovely bit there. Oh, she's looking nice. Raphael Hilton, darling, look how good I'm looking at the moment. I'm so snuggable, look at this. So, what we have created is some dry lips over there. And I'm going I'm to give myself a lovely cold sore. Now, people, this is called out of kit. So no prosthetics and no expensive products. I'm using latex. Latex is still used a lot. Now you put it on, pat it, and as it dries, keep patting it and you keep breaking it. That's going to have a lovely scab in a bit as well. Why not? So, whilst this dries, let's sob my hair around, yes? Right. This. What's this? Do we know? Hair conditioner and water. Great thing to make someone's hair look a bit nasty and horrid. I can Oh God. God look at this. She's looking beautiful. Isn't she lovely? Now what I'm doing is I'm using some of the hair grey directly on the hair like this there we are Don't forget your sides, people. Don't forget your sides, okay? Okay, let's carry on. So, there you go. My lips, uh, look at my lips. We liking that? I'm liking that. So, that's literally just latex, okay? So, now I'm going to start painting my lovely cold sore. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm quite glad it's the end of the week. It's been a busy week for me. I hope you're all keeping busy and happy. So this is just a bit of alcohol paint. As you know, Herpes simplex, which is the cold sore virus. Once you've got it, you can never get rid of it. 
it is very contagious and it spreads. God. And it's just, I'm just using my dark burgundy to give me that look. Right. How's that looking? Are we happy with that? Yes, we are. Okay. Dry lips, yeah, lovely. There we go. Next, the fabulous, fabulous tooth colours by Meron. Where's my nicotine one? Where's my nicotine one? Go? There we go. Right. I don't know. I'm not going to use it here, 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 here. I've got a tooth mission. Nice, isn't it? Gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. You need to let it dry, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Right, and that's drying. I'm trying to open my other bottle, but it's not quite opening. Oh. Why is that not opening? Are we looking good? Oh. Now, okay. So, the other one I'm going to use... is a bit of black Gosh, she's never looked better. She has never looked better. Okay. Uh -huh. Got you, I know. Look at that. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So, 
So, let's keep working on my grey. Uh, Treasure House, very good question. Artists, when you're working on this look for the first time, less is definitely more. Try to perfect a few effects and then you can add some more. Otherwise, it's going to go all over the place. I'm now putting some of that mud into my hair as well. Nice. So definitely, definitely, definitely less is more. So there you go, she's looking fabulous, isn't she? Right, all we're gonna now do is some line work just to give me a bit of extra depth. So I now take my, I'm going to go back to my trusty Paradise Meron wheel with alcohol this time. Very, very thin brush. You want to emphasize Now, I am working with alcohol very close to my eye. This might be quite uncomfortable for... The kind of red will kind of give me that look of tiredness. But be careful when you apply it to your eye. Because you will, ideally, you want a red line of pencil. If you're really clever, you can use a bit of grease paint with alcohol very, very gently, as close as you dare. And if you cry, like I just did, it's even better. Now, but ideally, a red line of pencil is better. Oh, looking great people, looking great, feeling great, I'm feeling Friday, I'm follow Friday, ready for Friday, look at me, look at my teeth, God, a state of that, yeah, And I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready. I think she's never looked better. So, to recap, we do red alcohol color broken capillaries. Ideally, you want a stipple sponge or, if you're very good, a brushwork, but very broken. Then you start applying your dirt. Yeah, actually you can put a bit more there. What you don't want is to see neither hand or brush marks. There you go. Yeah. 
Um, start applying the dirt. I used um, Meron Ash and I used Ben Nye Plains Dust. I mixed it with a gel to make this gorgeous kind of mayonnaise consistency. Then I stippled, um, I laid down some beard hair, more dirt. Uh, with latex, I made the cold sores. Yeah. Dry lip. You can also get a, um, you can get your toothbrush. Dry toothbrush. And it will give you the broken, just break the latex down. Gray in the hair. Um, con conditioner with water to dirty my hair. And there we go. Guys, you have been lovely. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this video and the others will be available on my page and on the Treasure House page and on the Seven to Makeup page. Keep safe. Keep happy. Keep supporting each other. Keep talking if you need me or you need to talk to someone. Meron. Seventa, Treasure House are all here to listen and myself send us a message. Please keep safe and uh, have a lovely weekend.